Hello friends, this video on basic concepts of chemistry part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. Now let's take this mole concept, this little critical concept, so please pay little attention here. So can we guess the number of moles molecules in a 1 gram of salt? So I have given 1 gram of salt, this much small salt. Can we guess the number of molecules in this? Yes, we can find. It will be a huge number, right? So to handle such large number, we need a unit of similar magnitude, right? Because it will be in some kind of about 23. So to get that, we, what we have is, in the SI unit, we have mole. This was introduced as a seventh base quantity to handle such uh, uh, huge numbers, right? Because the numbers are huge. So this mole was introduced in the SI unit as seventh base quantity. This is a, this is a seventh base quantity. And this one mole by definition is nothing but amount of substance that contains as many particles as there are in 12 grams of C12. So if you see, we have standardized C12 and that's why we are using C12 as a base. So if you see, if you take one gram of hydrogen, if that contains X atoms, you will see that 12 grams of carbon will also contain X atoms. You will see that 16 grams of oxygen will also contain x atoms. Why? Because this is the atomic mass of this number, right? So if, for any number, the atomic mass, a mass of element ABC will have x atoms. This we can prove also. So if you see, you take any elements, you take hydrogen, atomic mass is 1, so 1 gram of a uh, atomic mass grams of element ABC will have X atoms. You take 1 gram of hydrogen, it will have X atoms. You take 12 grams of carbon, it will have X atoms. You take 16 grams of oxygen, it will have X atoms. Why? Because if you see, to make 1 grams, right, you have 1 hydrogen atom, right, you have 1 hydrogen atom that has 1 proton. You have carbon which has 12. So you multiply 12 with that number, you'll get 12 grams. Each carbon, each oxygen atom is 12, 16 grams. You multiply with some numbers, it will get 16 grams. I am not confusing this. Let's let's go into this now. This number is called Avogadro constant. This value is 6.022. That means we say one mole of hydrogen will have this many atoms. We will say one mole of water molecule will have this many molecules. When you say one mole of sodium chloride will have this many units of sodium chloride. This number is very critical. 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. So what you observed was, you if you take this many molecules of hydrogen, you get 1 gram. If you take these many molecules of carbon, you get 12 grams. Obviously why? Because all the molecules of carbon are 12 times higher than hydrogen, right? Because it has 12 number of protons plus uh, neutrons. So, if, if let's suppose hydrogen are, let's suppose uh, A, each molecule has A weight, right? And you take, you, you take 6.023 into the power 23, this becomes 1 gram. Now, if you take carbon, each molecule of carbon is 12A, because if hydrogen is A, this guy is 12 times of A, if you take, you multiply this guy, this will become 12 gram, obviously, because A into this is 1, so 12A into this will be, this is nothing but 6.02 to this becomes 12 grams. Similarly, if you take oxygen, each oxygen molecule is 16 times of uh, hydrogen, into if you say 6.02 to you get 16 grams, correct, same, same formula, because this guy is 12, 1, this guy becomes 1, 16 to 1 becomes 16, so that's how it is. The general formula is you take atomic mass of any element, let's suppose n, so you take n grams of that element, that will always have 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atoms. And that's why this number became very famous and that guy, this number, his name as Avogadro constant in the honor of that um, chemist Avogadro, correct? So one mole is nothing but amount of substance that contain as many particles as they are atoms in 
12 gram of carbon isotopes and that is nothing but 6 into 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atoms correct actually 1 gram of hydrogen 12 gram of carbon 16 grams of oxygen all they have almost same number of atoms but this guy was since C12 was taken the standard so the definition is also in terms of C12 so 12 grams of C12 will have 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 carbon atoms let's understand a new topic called molar mass molar mass is nothing but mass of one molar substance and it is in grams and that's called molar mass you take one mole of any substance and then you find the mass that in grams that becomes a molar mass right for example my one mole is nothing but 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 you take this many atoms of any anything for example let's suppose oxygen right this will have some gram so the 16 grams this becomes molar mass and typically if you see the molar mass is nothing but but is always equal to atomic or molecular mass or the formula mass correct and that is in grams because one mole of this guy the these many atoms of oxygen will be 16 grams these many atoms of hydrogen will be 1 gram right this we have explained in the last slide so the molar mass is generally in gram and that is almost equal to or equal to atomic mass or formula mass on molecular mass for example molecular mass of molar mass of oxygen is 16 and the molar mass of water is 18 why because h2o 2 into 1 plus 16 similarly the molar mass of carbon is 12 the molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.5 molar mass of sodium plus chlorine and this is if you see the formula mass of sodium chloride so, so molar mass is in gram please note molar mass is in gram and this is generally equal to your atomic mass or molecular mass of that particular compound or element you are talking about if you are talking about element you talk about the atomic mass if you talk about uh, compound for example water you talk about molecular mass you talk about something like sodium chloride you talk about formula mass and that is in grams and this is nothing but the mass of one mole of substance mass of 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of particular matter right or this many molecules of particular matter correct mass of thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again